I'm going to show you a clip of Dr. Zakir Naik being a clown trying to justify to a young man why it's haram to wish non-Muslims Merry Christmas. Let's see what he says about can Muslims celebrate and wish Merry Christmas. That he wants to wish Merry Christmas to his friend so that he can build relationships. So tomorrow he'll ask me the question, why can't I have a peg of alcohol to build relationship? Uh, no, he's not going to ask that, dude. I think he's smiling just to be nice. Why? What's wrong? Why can't I eat some pork with them? Uh, no. No, he's not going to ask, why can't I eat some pork with them? Uh, even my ex-Muslim friends, a lot of them don't eat pork. He's not going to say, oh, let me just have a ham sandwich to hang out with them. Dude, have you ever lived in a non-Muslim country? Muslims don't eat ham sandwiches to hang out with their friends, okay? I don't know what you're smoking. Why can't I go to church and worship Jesus Christ? Please be on him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why can't I go to church and worship Jesus Christ? Uh, okay, I, I'm pretty sure this Muslim kid is not going to go to church and worship Jesus Christ to hang out with his friends. You're, you're using the slippery slope fallacy, dude. See, you don't have to do anything haram for doing dawah. For reaching <laughs> the goals, you cannot use wrong means, brother. What is haram for them is haram for you also. When you are wishing Merry Christmas to them, you are agreeing that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December, and you are agreeing that he is the begotten son of God, which is shirk. Whoa, whoa, okay. If you wish him Merry Christmas, you're accepting that Jesus Christ is a begotten son of God? How about just having good manners and wishing your friends and relatives and non-Muslim neighbors and co-workers Merry Christmas? Just to, because they're celebrating, it's a festive season. Uh, he's not impressed. He's like, I shouldn't have asked this question. Why it is wrong? Because the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the begotten son of God. No way. That's what they believe? Perspective whether he may be a practicing Christian or not. They celebrate because it's the birthday. Why don't they celebrate any other day? Oh my God. Why don't they celebrate any other day? Uh, dumbass, because it's that's the date they celebrate his birthday. So if you tell your Christian friend, okay, forget, if you don't believe in that, let's celebrate instead of 25th of December, let's celebrate on the 10th of October. Will they agree? They'll... Whoa, dude. Um, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> Celebrate on the 10th of October, <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> what the hell are you saying? But that does not mean don't do dawah. I do dawah on Christmas. <laughs> I asked them that this is the Christmas season. Why is it Christmas? So they tell me, oh, it's Christmas because Jesus Christ, peace be upon, was born. On um, nobody's going to invite you to the house if you go to the house on Christmas and you start harassing them about was Jesus Christ born on December 25th, okay? That's called being a dick. Remember, who is this Jesus? Peace be upon him. Oh, Jesus is the begotten son of God. Then I tell him that can you prove to me from one unequivocal statement from the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that he's God of Israel, worship me. Oh my God. I'm atheist and I'm saying, oh my God. How much more ridiculous can you get? You're gonna go to someone's house and say, Can you prove to me from the Bible where Jesus Christ says he's the Son of God? I'm you're definitely not invited to my house or anybody else's house when we celebrate Christmas. I'll tell you that. I do dawa. Why do you have to use wrong means for doing oh. You ask the question, is saying Merry Christmas wrong means I'm telling you it is wrong. Okay. Hundred percent wrong according to me. If you don't know what Christmas is celebrated for, <laughs> like by mistake, if you don't know it is alcohol and you think it is Pepsi and you have it, Allah may forgive you. Allah may forgive you if you don't know what if you don't know what Christmas is and you said Merry Christmas. So if you don't know what is Christmas standing for being in UK, <laughs> do you know what Christmas stands for? Do you know what Christmas stands for, brother? Well, as of now. Why I think... do you come from some <laughs> And then he doesn't let the, the, the young man talk. Well, uh, as of now, I think it stands for a Do commercial... You know what? <laughs> Do you know? Let him answer. For a commercial business, that's what it Sorry? stands for. It stands for a commercial business, a, a place where people give each other presents. No, no, commercial. That's... What is the excuse? No, don't 
It's Don't a holiday. Don't push. I am asking the question. Do you know what is the excuse for commercial business? What is the excuse? Why yeah. do they celebrate Christmas for what? Because it's the birth of Christ. Tad, finish. You know about it? And <laughs> Checkmate! It's because of the birth of Christ. I proved you wrong, little boy. I'm right, you're wrong. See, it's all about the worship of Jesus Christ. Consider Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, as the Son of God, begotten Son. Do you know that? Yeah, I know. Do you know? He's asking him if he knows. <laughs> He's asking him if he knows. Do do Christians believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God? <laughs> what the hell? All he wants to say is Merry Christmas to his friends. Know that, and then if you wish Merry Christmas, it is haram. If you didn't know, <sighs> from Timbuktu. Why is everybody clapping at this bullshit? Why are you guys clapping? Why? This is not this is not clapping something you should clap for. I'm actually crying inside. I'm laughing, but this is horrible. If you're coming from Timbuktu and you did not know and in ignorance, if you wish, Allah may forgive you. If you don't know that that is alcohol, if you think it is Pepsi and you drink it, Allah may forgive you. But if you know it and you mm. think you're building relationship, you know what you're doing? You're building a place in the Jahannam. So therefore, brother, for reaching any good means, you never have to adopt wrong means. You yeah, there you go. You're building yourself a place in hellfire just for saying Merry Christmas to your friends and family members. How much more absurd and ridiculous can you get? Oh my God. This is why I think Salafism is the worst form of Islam. Not the worst one, but one of the worst. It's antagonistic. It's, it's just bad for the world. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching. If you got to the end and you can help support me, please check out my support page below. If not, that's okay as well. Thank you so much. This is Abdullah Samir signing out. Don't forget to subscribe.